Cutting Edge Research in Oklahoma is testing the effectiveness of a new treatment for traumatic brain injuries. It's called hyperbaric oxygen therapy. The treatment shows such promise. State lawmakers are being asked to provide $30 million to make it available to Oklahoma's thousands of veterans. During the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, videos posted by insurgents show how they targeted American troops with improvised explosive devices. We were in the Humvee and it got hit by an ID and it hit it so hard it blew us off the road and blew out all the tires on the vehicle. State Representative John Bennett served in the Marines in Afghanistan in 05 and 06. He experienced firsthand how IED blasts can kill, maim, and cause traumatic brain injuries. And with the new equipment and everything they have in the military nowadays, you could get blown up without receiving a mark on, on the outside. But damage inside the head from an IED or any explosion can be just as devastating as a gaping wound. Traumatic brain injuries may or may not show up on a brain scan. They can result in post-concussive syndrome causing severe headaches or contribute to post-traumatic stress disorder. For Bennett, symptoms of traumatic brain injury, TBI for short, started with severe headaches. And well, when we got back, I started noticing I was forgetting things, my temper changed, I was really irritable, I wasn't sleeping, my eyes were real uh, sensitive to the light, things like that. It was really devastating to my relationship with my wife and my kids because of all the changes that were going on. Bennett sought medical help, but what doctors said only deepened his despair. Well, you have a brain injury. I said, okay. I said, well, how do you fix that? He said, well, that's the bad news. You can't. And it was absolutely devastating. But a glimmer of hope reappeared when he heard about hyperbaric chamber oxygen therapy. It appears to help people suffering from TBI heal. Now there's a push to find funding, as well as make the treatment more widely available for veterans. The push is led by William Duncan. Semper Fi funds actually funded our initial research that was done at LSU. 39% reduction in post-concussive syndrome, that's the headaches that you heard John Bennett talk about earlier, photophobia, sleeplessness, and cognitive malaise. 30% reduction in PTSD, which is the largest reduction in PTSD ever recorded of any treatment and a 51% decrease in depression with a 96% improvement in emotional control. Hyperbaric treatment for TBI, PTSD, and post-concussive syndrome involves breathing 100% oxygen under increased atmospheric pressure in a hyperbaric chamber for about an hour a day. Once this little light runs green, that means there is pressure inside the tank. Patients being studied to evaluate its effectiveness receive up to 80 treatments. I wasn't in the chamber maybe 10 minutes and the headache went away, which was just amazing to me because normally I'd have to go hide in a completely dark room and take a whole bunch of medicine that the VA give me. So that really intrigued me and it, it really gave me hope. Now Representative Bennett is sponsoring a measure to appropriate $30 million to staff and install hyperbaric chambers at the state's seven veteran centers. He wants to make the treatments easily accessible for Oklahoma veterans. The measure easily passed the House and is under consideration by the Senate, which met in joint session with the House this week to honor veterans. $30 million is a big expenditure, but it's a very tiny cost when we talk about how many people are being affected by this and how we can repair it with that amount of money in a very short period of time. The bill has the support of retired Major General Rita Aragon, Oklahoma's Secretary of Military and Veterans Affairs. The VA tells us that we have over 17,000 diagnosed cases of TBI in the state of Oklahoma alone. And so we want very much to begin as aggressively as possible to make treatment available. Right now, the VA does not make that treatment available anywhere in the United States. And uh, only through uh, the, the great grace and care of a number of people, including Oklahoma State University, are, are veterans now receiving uh, that kind of traumatic brain care treatment, which will actually help reverse and retrain the brain. 
This big blue tube is the multi-person hyperbaric chamber run by the OSU Health Sciences Center in Tulsa. So far, only a handful of Oklahomans, including Army National Guardsman, Lieutenant Matthew Smotherman, get hyperbaric therapy here. First time I got into it, I had no idea whether or not the treatment was going to work. I figured at this point in time, with all that I'd been through and everywhere I was <laughs> not going at that point in time, I figured it was worth a shot. Smotherman suffered TBI after enduring three serious IED blasts in Afghanistan in 2011 and 12. When he came home, his wife Zoe noticed her normally outgoing husband was withdrawn, confused, and unable to articulate thoughts. Nor could Smotherman concentrate long enough to fill out the paperwork to re-enroll in law school. He was having a lot of trouble concentrating. He was having a lot of trouble sleeping all the time. And just felt very angry. That's not like him at all. I was exhausted, I was tired, borderline depressed, kind of lost. Then he volunteered for the OSU Center for Health Sciences study of hyperbaric oxygen therapy for brain injuries. It's part of a wider national study seeking FDA approval for the treatment. Until the VA also approves hyperbaric therapy for TBI, its hospitals and Oklahoma's veteran centers can't offer the treatment, even if they have the equipment and staff. If Representative Bennett's measure passes, it could expand the study, which would make the treatment more widely available in Oklahoma, even without FDA or VA approval. So I'm going to Washington this week and uh, talk to the folks at the VA about, look, if we get you the chambers and we get you the people to run the chambers, will you allow them in the hospital and allow us to get started with this? It's critical. General Aragon says doctors believe the sooner patients begin hyperbaric oxygen therapy after a traumatic brain injury, the quicker they will heal. Lieutenant Smotherman has completed 64 treatments. It's been night and day. It's complete transition. It's gone from me not being able to multitask, not being able to focus, not being able to concentrate, not being able to sleep without taking medication to being able to sleep without taking any kind of medication whatsoever, having no problems with that at all. He's also now back in law school and has taken company command of the unit he deployed with to Afghanistan. The defining moment for me was when I was sitting in my house, my wife was walking down the hallway and she was talking to me and she stopped in the middle of what she was saying. She's like, you know what? It's really good to have you back. Zoe says she knew she had her husband back when he suddenly breezed through filling out the paperwork to re-enroll in law school. In just one day, several weeks into the hyperbaric treatment, he woke up and felt able to use his natural initiative to go and get all of these things done, like that. It was all taken care of. And he's pretty much been that way since then. But that was the day when I was like, okay, he can start to help himself again. And before that, he just hadn't been able to. We need to rescue these men and women who answered our nation's call. And right now we have about 25,000 of them unemployed. And the program we're working, we're actually gonna be able to put about 22,000 of those back to work. Researchers at OSU say such promising outcomes are potentially possible. However, they also caution it's still early in the study of the effectiveness, and especially the long-term effectiveness, of hyperbaric oxygen therapy for TBI. But so far, anecdotal results show the treatment to be very promising for war veterans trying to return to a normal life.